look at there. That's pretty. That's a cool one. Will stuff have prices on it? Um, if it's not priced, it'll price it. You're gonna probably put it in there. People of YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm bringing you guys along with me to another estate sale, and this sale had some incredibly valuable items that I was hoping to get my hands on. And let me tell you, I didn't end up getting them. <laughs> but I still ended up getting some awesome stuff. In fact, I got some really, really cool stuff and one item that I got for like a dollar, and it ended up being worth hundreds more than I initially thought. Actually, let me just show you. Let's hop into it. Benji. Yes, sir. Alright. So here we are at today's sale, and like I said before, I initially came to the sale because in the photos there were some really valuable items showcased that I'll show you here in a little bit. But I kind of got distracted by these cameras right here on my way to find those items. This is... Will stuff have prices on it? Um, if it's not priced, it'll price it. Okay. As you just heard that worker say, a lot of the stuff at the sale was not priced out. So that means you just put the stuff that you want in your bag, go to the checkout when you're ready to go, and they will price stuff for you then. Sometimes this can be a good thing because you'll get a bundle deal, but sometimes it leads to them just asking outrageous amounts for stuff and you putting a lot of stuff back which was the case in this sale for a lot of things, and we'll get to that here in just a minute. But for now, I did end up grabbing a few cameras. The first one I ended up getting here was the Canon SureShot Supreme. It is in the original box. Here it is right here out of the box. You can see it is not brand new. It has been used, but I have actually sold this model before, and it goes for around 80 bucks. Some of these old film cameras, people sleep on because they don't think they would be worth that much, but some of them have some crazy value. The second camera here is this Canon QL19. It's in pretty good shape, and it's about a 50 $50 camera and the last one here that I have is actually the best one there it is right there this camera is iconic I pick it up every single time I see it look at this it's pretty cool you just open up this top part pop it open and BAM there is your Polaroid SX70. Like I said, this camera right here is just an iconic one. It's one that everybody wants, and it's something that has some good value and sells very, very fast. I think the last one that I ended up selling sold for around 100 bucks. Oops, sorry. And after quickly making my way through those cameras, I snapped myself back into mission mode and wanted to hunt down those items that I initially came to the sale for, and I ended up finding them up in the living room area. All of these boxes that you're seeing me grab right here and put in my bag are vintage airplane motors and some of these are worth some crazy money I'm talking like five six seven hundred dollars for a single one of these boxes oh, sorry you can go ahead and grab that one if you want it I'm just seeing what that one underneath was I'm gonna grab that one and as you're seeing here, I am just grabbing the stuff that I wanted because, again, none of this stuff was priced and she said they would price it when we go to check out. But since these items had obviously been taken out of the basement and placed near the checkout table, it was a good indicator that they knew that these were higher end items, so I wanted to grab the cashier before I walked away to see what he was thinking price-wise on things, and unfortunately, he had this to say. I, I, got, I put a bunch in the bag because I didn't see prices. Did the Jets have prices on them? These ones did not, no. You're gonna probably put it there. Okay. It's 250 that red one. Okay. What about the McCoys? These guys yeah, I didn't yeah. sort yet. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll just throw them out for you real fast. Yeah, yeah. There's a three and two. Five for the pair right now, currently. Got you. So yeah, he was quoting pretty much everything at or just under eBay prices. There wasn't much money to be made on it, but he did have a printed out list of all of the prices of everything that he wanted, but for some reason he had it with him up at the cashier's station instead of like next to the items so people could see how much stuff was before they brought it up to him. Didn't make much sense to me, but anyways, I ended up putting all of that stuff back, unfortunately, because that was some high dollar stuff that I would have loved to get my hands on, but I didn't end up getting any of it. So after hearing that unfortunate news, I knew I needed to switch gears and shift my focus to try and find some stuff to salvage this trip. So I headed back down into the basement where I found a couple of interesting things. Some cool hats right here. You gonna buy them red hats? No, I'm not. He uh, had the price sheet up there. They weren't actually marked. So the red was marked at uh, 150, I believe. So it's right about where it's going. Oh, the, the the motors, yeah. I thought you were talking about the, the jet engine. Okay. 
A bunch of these hats ended up being pretty dang cool. I didn't end up grabbing everything that you're seeing, but I did grab a bunch of the ones that had interesting subject matter or some interesting patterns to them. A lot of them aren't going to be worth a ton of money between like the $15 and $20 mark a piece, but there were still some solid buys here. However, in the next room of this basement, the workshop area, I ended up coming across the best item of the sale for me, and it's an item that I didn't even realize was the best item until after the sale. But before I show you that, let me give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor, eBay. It's no secret, I love eBay. I sell a ton of stuff over on the platform. I mean, obviously that's what this video is about and what pretty much my entire channel is about. And one of the big reasons I love selling on eBay is because it not only gives me a way to make money, but it also allows me to find new homes for items that would otherwise end up in landfills. Sustainable shopping, big thumbs up. But not only do I sell a lot of stuff on eBay, I also buy a lot from eBay as well. Which is awesome, because not only am I able to get the items that I want at a great price, I'm also supporting other small sellers who are keeping their used items out of landfills, thus continuing the sustainability cycle. To me, buying and selling on eBay is a no-brainer, and with Earth Day coming up, I really wanted to encourage you guys to shop more sustainably by shopping on eBay. Now, uh, let's hop back over to the video and check out what I found next. So down here in the workshop, the first items that ended up catching my eye were actually these RC controllers right here for model planes, like the model planes that we saw the engines to just earlier. And like those engines, these can also have some good value behind them if you find the right models. Unfortunately, after looking them up, they weren't worth the prices they were asking, but I did notice a basket above these guys that caught my eye. vintage aviators, which are kind of cool. Ray-Ban. And out of this basket right here, I ended up grabbing and buying three of the pairs of glasses that you're seeing. The first was a pair of these vintage Tasco aviator sunglasses. And actually, I really like how these ones look stylistically. Unfortunately, uh, my head doesn't really fit glasses too well. I'm not a glasses person as you're seeing right now. <laughs> Next here, we've got a pair of vintage Ray-Ban ambermatic frames. And then there were these. Initially, I just bought these because they were another pair of vintage aviator glasses, which usually do pretty well. But when I got home and looked up the model, which is found down on the arms of these glasses, I noticed something interesting. They are marked 12K GF, which for those of you not in the know means 12 karat gold filled. So these glasses right here are gold filled glasses by American Optics. And uh, I think I'll just pop up the comps for what these are going for over here on the side. When I bought these, like I said, I was initially thinking they were just vintage aviators. So to find out that they were gold filled, I was extremely, extremely excited. And then the last thing I grabbed before I left this workshop area to explore the rest of the house were these two vintage picket slide rules. These aren't worth a ton of money. However, they are worth picking up if you're finding them for a couple bucks. And then from there, I made my way up into the bedrooms where you know I had to check out the closets and I ended up finding quite a bit of vintage clothing. Oh, look at there. Nice little bull sweater. That's pretty. Grab that. Let's get this on it. Got some more clothing in here. Looks like these are some t-shirts. Harper. It's a cool one. Look at that. Old champion tag. Harper. Nice little ringer. That's kind of cool. Look at that. Georgia Institute of Technology. Georgia Tech? Yep. Too. Oh, cool. I didn't. Yeah, I'll grab that one. That's really cool. Yeah, I just got another Alaska one. <laughs> Yeah, I'll grab them, thank you very much. As you're seeing, there was a ton of vintage clothing swirled away in this house, and I was pretty much the only one buying it. And it was in the closets and in the drawers and in the wardrobes, and I ended up getting quite a few different pieces here. A lot of it was lower end stuff, like $15 to $20 pieces, so I'm not gonna show you everything, but I will show you some of the pieces that I really like. And I guess I'll start with this piece right here. It's not really a vintage clothing piece, but it's like this Mexican or Aztec wool rug or runner, whatever you wanna call this thing. 
I also ended up finding one vintage Bulls piece, this Bulls crew neck sweater, and it is on a nutmeg tag right there. That's always nice to see. And this one is in really good shape. It doesn't look like it had been worn much at all. I also got this really cool old school Alaska sweater. Another Alaska sweater. I'm not sure if this is a high school or a college or whatever, but it, I just really liked the graphics on this one. It's the Lamont Hornets and it's dated 1999, but that graphic on that is just really, really cool. And speaking of cool pieces, look at this one. This is an old Harper College Ringer t-shirt and look at the tag on this. Look how old that champion tag is. That is just too cool. And then the last piece I'm gonna show you, I think is my favorite one of this sale, it is this vintage Georgia Tech piece. Right there down at the bottom, you can see it's dated 1974, and just look at that graphic. That is such a cool graphic. That'll definitely be a good seller, and I'm sure somebody from Georgia Tech would love to have that. So awesome, awesome piece right there. And that's it. That's everything that I ended up getting at the sale. I think I ended up spending like $108 total. <laughs> and even though I didn't end up walking away with the stuff I came to the sale for, being those vintage airplane motors, I still walked away with a solid stack of stuff here, including some items that really surprised me, especially those gold filled glasses. That was a nice surprise. And I know I say it a lot, but it just goes to show you need to be flexible when you go to estate sales. You're not always going to get the items that you're expecting to get, that you're wanting to get, but you can still find some awesome stuff if you don't end up getting the stuff that you wanted. Actually, let me know down in the comments, have you ever gone to a estate sale or a garage sale looking for one specific item, but walking away with another one that was just worth a ton of money that you didn't expect to find? Let me know what that item was down in the comments below. Also, while you're down there, check and see if you're subscribed to my channel. I know a lot of you guys who watch aren't actually subscribed, even if you think you are. So I would really appreciate it if you checked while you're down there. Now, though, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up, and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Garage sale season's right around the corner. I got a lot of stuff planned, so be excited for that. Until next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.